And welcome to Idgame Chat's coverage of E3 2014. I'm Scott, and today we're going to be talking about Titan Souls. Titan Souls is an indie game, and I want to talk about indie games for just a second before we get into this, and I'll probably say this more on every indie game we look at, but constantly throughout E3, meeting up with friends and stuff, hey, what's uh, what have you seen so far at the show? What do you like? And I would say, you know what? Not much. Not much from the big guys. Not much from anything that's in the show hall with the exception of just a few standout standouts here and there. However, across the street, not in the LA Convention Center, not on the show floor of E3, was Devolver Digital. They were set up in a parking lot and they had a bunch of Airstream trailers set up and you could go in and sit down one-on-one -on -one with the devs and talk about their games. This is something I love. This is something I love to do. It's something I love to do on the show is just to have the developers on the show Sometimes only we can get are the, the, the PR, you know, talking heads. Sometimes that's all we can get. But if we can get a developer, I love that. I love one-on-one -on -one with the person that made the game. And that's what I got with all of the Devolver Digital appointments I had. And that's one of the reasons they stood out. Another reason was they're just making some really good games. One of those games is Titan Souls. I'll tell you why this is good for me. Uh, I go in and they start explaining a little bit about it. And they say, well, basically Titan Souls just drops you into play and you have to figure everything out. Part of me is a little bit nervous, not nervous, but kind of doesn't want to talk about the game too much. I kind of want you to discover it on your own. Um, so if that's what you want to do, then let me get a few things out of the way that you can know about, and then you can just stop listening. But um, it's a top-down, 8-bit uh, something. Uh, fighter, I don't know. can't really tell you about that. But you get one life, and you get one arrow. That's it. You can shoot the arrow, and it never goes away, but you shoot the arrow... And it lands, and then you can summon it just by holding down the A button. You can summon the arrow back to you, or you can run over and pick it up. And either way works. If you summon it, though, you cannot move while you're summoning uh, the arrow. You can summon it a little ways to you, stop and then move if you need to, and then pick it up, whatever the case. But that's the gist. So if you don't want to know anything more about it, it releases in 2015 on Vita. PS4 and PC. The Vita PS4 versions will have cross-buy. It is developed by a company called Acid Nerve. These guys are based in the UK and in Australia, and it is their very first title. They started development on it in December, and like I said, it will be released in early 2015. That is pretty much all I'm going to say on it for those of you who do not wish to be spoiled, in a sense. The developers did say that they kind of want you to just be dropped into this place and you to figure out everything that you have to do after that. So if you want to stay in that mindset, don't look up any more of the, uh, of, of the game. Don't seek out any more information of the game. Don't watch any more of this video uh, and, and just stay away from it. If you would like to know more, then let's continue for a little bit. Here we go. Spoilers, I guess, for those of you who are uh, worried about those. So the developers said that they wanted to uh, just basically drop the player in the world and let them figure it out on their own. And that's kind of why we did the stop earlier on so that people could kind of have that experience if they wanted it. But uh, here's the way it was explained to me was that you have one HP and the bosses that you end up uh, fighting all have one HP as well. In fact, every fight that is in this game is a boss fight. It comes heavily from the Shadow of the Colossus style of not necessarily gameplay, but just the way that that... Uh, that whole thing was built, which was you and every boss was this gigantic beast of a fight that every single every single fight was pretty much epic. So they're kind of pulling in a little bit of that for Titan Souls. I'll give you an example, the same one I gave on the show. I went into one building and there was this heart surrounded by this green blob and then it was jumping around the room. And of course, if it touched me, I would die. If I was able to shoot my arrow into it, the blob would spill it off. And, uh, and become its own thing and also start jumping around. However, the blob around the heart would get a little bit smaller. Every time it got smaller, it would get faster. So it, you had to really just kind of be on your toes for that first boss fight. The second boss fight was nothing like that, and I didn't even finish it. But uh, once you got the green blob gone away from the heart, then you could shoot the heart, boom, boss is dead, and you... Uh, you defeated that boss and you can move on to the next one i was in basically what was the considered the tutorial level and there were five bosses to do in just the tutorial section of the game and as much as i don't like uh you know having to restart and go back over and do all this stuff again i actually kind of enjoyed it in titan souls it was really really fun and i liked what these guys were doing i spent a ton of time on that second boss and never actually defeated him i knew what i had to do and i just never could get around to, to getting it done so 
they were kind of impressed with, with how I handled that uh, first boss section and figuring that out. And then the second one, uh, they said, you know, well, you're kind of par for the course on that one. Everybody else is having the same issues. So, uh, But it was a lot of fun to play. It's something I'm really looking forward to playing. It's uh, early 2015. It's called Titan Souls. It's from developer Acid Nerve. It'll be out on the Vita and PS4. You can do a cross-buy on that. So if you buy it on PS4, you will also pick it up on Vita. And it's also going to be out on the PC. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.